Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there Rulers, DMO73 here bringing you a super awesome opening for Alice Origins 3. We're going to be opening up not one, not two, but three boxes here. Hopefully we get all three rulers, but obviously anything that we can get here is super awesome. And a huge thanks to the company for being willing to hook us up with this to be able to show it off to you all. So let's go ahead and dig right in. So we got our first box. Ugh. Cracking that bad boy open, and it does look like we got a reflect refrain. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of the packaging here. So nice, nice, nice. So that is reflect, just beautiful, beautiful card. And then on the back we have refrain. Oh, so no, I'm sorry, that was refrain and reflect. Whoops. So we got reflect here on the front, and then refrain here on the back so really nice color contrast between the two even if the artwork for the two of them is the same i really do like the change in there so that's really awesome to see that's our first ruler here let's go ahead and see what else we can pull we got 20 packs here obviously if they still have god packs we're really hoping to get one of those but we don't quite know so let's go ahead and see what we can get Oof, right off the bat weird weird opening so we got priestess of the black city you can pay one less to play this card for each stranger in your graveyard uh you can place target stranger resonator from your graveyard as an enter whoa that's a 610 on a body that's crazy crazy then we have uh glorious round table i'm not gonna get too much into the card effects here but i'm gonna hover over them i'm not gonna read them all but we're just going to go ahead and go through. We have a Refrains Summoning. Beautiful piece of artwork. Woof! And Alice's Castling as a mage. Oh, it's a sword art. Alice's Castling as a sword art. Interesting. So cool for Faria. Uh, blue Illusionary Hero. Whoa, look at... Is that... I'm trying to see if that's Lapis over there. Maybe it's not. Um... The blue hero is a wisdom of calmness. So I don't know who that character is. He looks dope, though. I'm about it. Ooh, nice. A Snow White, the Valkyrie of Passion, one of the reprints. Full Art Darkness Magic Stone. That's pretty sick. A Beast Token. That's awesome. Mikage. Whoa. Hey there, buddy. Looking snazzy as all get out. That's really sick artwork looking. Hopefully get that full art. Ooh, and a stranger. We have uh, Artemis. It's a super, is she a super? This is a super. So one of our... That's really nice. Artemis, the goddess of hunt. Wow, that's beautiful looking. So a full art super. <coughs> a full art super rare right in our first pack. That's awesome. And then... We'll keep, keep on keeping on. We have a Grave Robber, Necromancy of the Undead Lord, uh, Blood of Mikage, that makes sense since we've seen Mikage already, Release as a Sword Art or a Mage, it's both, it's a Sword Art and a Mage Art, that's pretty cool, a Morning, uh, morning Angel, so a 1 cost 4-4 four, four Quick Cast Angel, remove it to 3 target cards from a graveyard from the game, whoa, that's crazy awesome, being able to mess with people's graveyards. Residents of the Black City, a Fire Magic Stone. These stones look dope. A Life Point card, a Butterfly Effect, and then, woo, we got a Full Art of Mikage Seijiro. That looks so sick, Full Art. That is amazing. Uh, and then this Butterfly Effect card is also really cool. So, nice. So, he's just a rare. So, we're not going to worry too much about putting him aside. Uh, except, actually, you know what? I am going to keep the Full Arts here because... They flashy and I love them. So digging right in, we got Niflheim. Uh, Niflheim is a reprint. We got Fuge Feria. This is Ferusia's journey. Ooh, hard to say. Wall of Ideas coming in as a mage art as a reprint. Knight of the Wise Hill of the White Hill. Uh, Gatekeeper of Velsivaria. Arthur, the Dread Lord of Vengeance, another reprint. Awesome. Oh, we have multiple different kinds of magic stones here. So that's pretty sick. Darkness Magic Stone. Reflect Refrain Will card. A P 
one of the five heroes. This is Pierre, the guardian Godspeed Archer. So I'm gonna look a little bit closer here. So he has that flying and swiftness as a one cost. This card enters the field with two divine bow counters on it. Remove a divine bow counter from this card. Deal 400 damage to target attacking or blocking. Remove two to destroy target addition. Remove four, destroy target J Resonator with flying and put X, you can tap to put X divide bow counters on him where X is the number of stranger resonators in your removed area. So this is interesting. This is the old Artemis Regalius effect on a one drop four, four body. That's awesome. And then our full art is unfortunately just Hanada Rakti's Memoria. That's, we gotta talk about that. So like Arla didn't get Artemis bow, but now we have Artemis on a body. That's sick. That's awesome to me. It sucks that it can't pop into Regalia. That would have been really nice, but that's really nice, and that artwork is gorgeous. So we got another stranger here. Shuren, King of Supremacy. Give Wings, a nice little reprint there. Another refrain summoning. Soul Hunt as a mage art coming back. Celestial Wing Seraph. Whew, seeing these reprints. Uh, Ruina, the god with nothing. Target resonator you control loses all abilities until end of turn. Fire Magic Stone here, a Rezard Will Coin. Woo! Jabberwock, the Chaotic Disaster. This is a base rare. I'm not even going to try to read that. Well, actually, let's go ahead. First off, that artwork is gorgeous. Let's read this effect. So it says, choose one on enter. Your opponent reveals the top card of your deck. Reveal their hand and discard all copies with the same card. Or your opponent reveals the top card. Destroy all non-Magic Stone, non-J ruler entities they control with the same cost. Oh, jeez with the same cost as the revealed card or your opponent reveals the top card each player reveals their hand and discards all copies cards with the same cost as the revealed card and then each player destroys all non-magic stone non-j ruler cards with the same total cost so interesting so you can either force your opponent to discard all the cards in their hand of the same cost discard destroy everything that's on the field as the same cost or if you want them to do both it happens to both players Whoa! That's a really crazy effect on a three-drop body. That's awesome. And we got a full art one. Man, that's uh, that's crazy. Look at that. Double Jabberwock. That is a really neat effect. Because it, it's random, right? You never know what, exactly what you're going to get. And then you have to kind of choose. Do you want to rip their hand? Or do you want to rip their field? Or do you want to try to clear both? But you have to pay your own side, potentially, to do that as well. That's really, really cool. I dig that a lot. A lot of cool cards in this set. Here we go. We got another Priestess. A Armala. Cathedral of Armala. That's really awesome. Uh, Crystallization. Oof. That artwork is crazy. Dest Wait. Hold on. Let's just talk about this. Destroy target resonator. Its owner gains a thousand life. So for a one drop removal spell, you can kill anything. But they, are, they gain a thousand life. You can even kill your own thing. And if it's Awakened, you can change the Stranger deck and remove it from the game. So Arla definitely doing the RFG stuff. Morning Angel. Red Illusionary Hero. Oh, so that's the same artwork, just fire-based? Interesting. I mean, Reflect Refrain, that kind of makes sense. Spirit of Passion. Wind Magic Stone. A Beast Token, but a different artwork. We got Turtle coming in as a beast. Ooh, Green Percival. One drop, two super flying. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Put a resonator with flying or regalia from among them into your hand. The rest of the bottom of your deck. And banish. Put two plus one plus one counters on a resonator with flying. So we did end up seeing a green Percival. That's pretty cool. And then we got a... That definitely looks like... The more I look at it, that looks more like Gil Lapis. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out exactly who that is in the artwork. But that looks... Well, first off, that looks gorgeous in, art, in, the, uh, in the full art sense. But that's pretty cool. Let's let's look at this effect. So a three drop, if it focuses in here, three drop, eight eight, with swiftness. If you play, if you have passion, it costs two. If you control the blue luxury hero, you pay one red less, so it could be potentially one. Enter if you have passion. Target resonator gains first strike and plus four until end of turn. Oof. And then f invert your ruler. Oh, so you can, that's really interesting. So these even like flip the two of them back and forth as part of their effect. That's really cool. I can't wait to see exactly how that works out. 
we got Vampire Staff as a reprint, Adaraktia's Memoria, uh, Reflects Summoning, uh, Wounded Black Dragon, so Viola, but not. Uh, when this card is dealt damage, banish it. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, put a sword art from your graveyard into the hand. So it's a two drop 10 10 with flying that if it gets damaged, it dies. Spirit of Calmness. Uh, that makes sense with Celestial Wing Seraph being reprinted. The Dignified Seraph. Light Magic Stone. A light card. We've seen this one before. This is that awesome um, 3 12 Protective Deity spell. And then, ooh, an Ares coming in here so it's just a precision eternal two six or six ten six that's pretty crazy that's just a base rare but still that's pretty awesome man cool stuff here Ooh, black wizard coming in here in the normal slot uh bane produce pay zero to produce black uh only if this card is in your graveyard so you have to have one of these on the field and one of them in the graveyard i guess to produce an extra black maybe let's see how that's ruled release alice's castling residence of the black gate lucifer fallen angelic destroyer lucifer here so that's pretty cool going along with the celestial wing surf package the knight of sigurd that guy it looks awesome whoo okay look at that just great artwork another life point card we got a sacred beast of armala Pay one less if card for each different stranger among all resonators in your removed area. Gains all attributes, races, abilities, activate abilities, keywords. Oh, geez, Louise. So, yeah, it gains all of the abilities of anything that's in your removed area that's strangers. That's crazy good. Whew. Oh, hello. I know there's just a lot here, but Morgiana the Wise Serpent is a reprint what <laughs> this is nuts that's gorgeous also really nice as a full art jeez louise okay soul the soldier soul hunt i spy you bringing us some some heat this set crystallization we have magna's angel huh just on enter get a free stranger and then gives plus four plus four for each name a different name wow that's crazy so even as like the first one it's gonna get be a two drop five five but then as you get more it just becomes bigger uh rabbit of moonlit nights another reprint angel of healing we've seen that card in the spoilers stone card we got will of the wisps a rare quick cast barrier stranger enters draw a card and you can pay zero to put it back in your hand huh okay that's pretty cool and then a full art wall of ideas Ugh, moving right along heavenly garden of armala soulless soldier angels reconnaissance cool spell here that's awesome uh seal spiral of potential and convergence another morgiana herald of the winged lord another reprint good to see that back light magic stone arla will coin black silence stone we expected oh man, i meant i kind of just uh, just shift that artwork just up a little bit that's a little full art it's gonna look gorgeous but that's a little disappointing and then oh hello who is this guy we have red illusionary dragon of passion so it's a super rare here so it's a four cost 10 10 flying swiftness if you have passion you can pay two less to play it. so this is a two drop 10 10 with swiftness um what uh, if you have passion, this card deals 400 damage to target resonator, and this card gains plus four until end of turn. Invert your ruler, so you can pay one to pump it up and invert your ruler and ping something. That seems really good. Two drop, ten ten, flying swiftness body for reflect. Whew! Reflect going in hard on the aggro train. That's crazy. That is crazy. Grave Robber, Necromancy of the Undead Lord, Moan of the Dead, that's a new card. Wingman of Armala, we've seen that before. Angel of Healing, Blue Illusionary Hero. So let's look at this a little bit closer. So if you, it's got Quick Cast. If you have Calmness, you can pay one less. If you control Red, it's one blue less. 
enter if you have calmness target resonator gains barrier and an extra 400 attack defense invert your ruler so pretty cool so they kind of like go in tandem with each other to like flip back and forth on prissy on uh, reflector frame We've seen this card the awakening of the undead lord and then we got a full art celestial wing seraph nice we got a erinda uh anterite it's a stranger here vampire staff blood of the mikage end of friendship spiral of calmness knight of the white hill wind magic stone a zombie token for the xo zombie token that's awesome michael the archangel prevents all damage that would be dealt to angel resonators you control until end of turn whoa that's crazy good for a stranger um just prevent all damage that would be dealt to them that's crazy and then we got a full art of the charlotte resonator that was spoiled that's gorgeous that that michael is insane it's not even a it's not even a super rare so we got another glorious round table the journey crime and punishment coming back Whew, well that's interesting that's a grim cluster reprint um uh, we got rabbit of moonlit night what i'm sorry hold on we need to pause for a second this is a griffin this is a griffin this is a griffin racing across the darkness uh it's griffin this is crazy um which we're going to talk about that later but it's awesome arthur the dreadlord i think without fox it's probably okay but still crazy um and then we got whoa hello oh my gosh she's adorable it's mikage raya look look at that little owl look at look at raya all tiny and cute that's crazy awesome what does she even do quick cast flying vampire search your deck for a darkness card and put it into your graveyard then shuffle your deck vampires you control gain drain gain drain whenever a card is banished as an additional cost as a mage art put this card from your graveyard into your hand she's adorable and she's like a automatic card for for you just get any darkness card you want put it in your graveyard that's like an automatic four up for Rezard. That's crazy. She's she's so cute. Holy crap. That's awesome. And then I yeah okay. Wingman of Armala came in after that, and I stopped caring. Uh, Black Wizard, Niflheim, Spiral. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of repeats here. Uh, except for these reprints. This is a three drop. Pursuit of Pursuit of Exploding Flame. That card's back apparently. Uh, crazy that's awesome <laughs> we have a lot of things that can deal with it but still we get the shahrazad spell and then we got a full art armala there there's a lot of things that can deal four damage so like it's not a super huge thing but even and like three costs is pretty expensive for prissia but still like what adaraki's memoria crime and punishment angels of reconnaissance another red spiral of passion or spirit of passion sorry so the spirit of passion spirit of calmness and then oh we got another aries that's nice and hello who are you you're a super rare you're a full art faust the promising warrior so four cost 14 five cost 14 14 with brain and drain put a resonator counter put a so does this gun put a promise counter on target resonator you control you can only use this if it's in your graveyard when a resonator with a promise counter is put into the graveyard from the field, put this card from your graveyard into the field. That is nuts. <laughs> so like you pay one black to put this, put a counter on something that's about to die. And then when they kill it, you just get this. What? That's so good. <laughs> that's so strong. Rezard coming out swinging. I'm glad we have graveyard hate, but jeez, Rezard coming out swinging. We got Shurin, Soul Hunt, Mar Moan of the Dead, Celestial Wing Seraph, Magna's Angel, the Gatekeeper of Velsivaria, another Will Coin. Oh, sweet. We got our first Regalia, Wings of an Archangel, and then we got a Full Art Dreadlord of Vengeance. So we got to see how many Regalia we get per box. That's our first one. They are super rare, so that's a little bit uh hard to think about um <laughs> we have 
Five packs left for this box. Ugh. We've only seen one Regalia yet. We got a Cathedral. Ast Enterite Spiral. Another Griffin. Another Morgiana. Wise Wingman. Water Magic Stone. Another one of these uh, Artemis, which is dope. And then a Full Art Snow White. Beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, wait. Artemis is actually a super rare. Yeah, so we would expect a lot, probably a lot more of these packs here to be super rares. We've been kind of low on that count. We got Give Wings, Heavenly Garden of Armala, The Journey, Wounded Black Dragon, Lucifer, Red Lucery Hero, Stone Card. We have Excel, the White Gale Eagle. Oh, this is okay. Each turn you may pay your first Excel's reconnaissance without paying its cost. Enter, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. Then put three plus one plus one counters on this card for each stranger in your removed area. When this card attacks, it may deal X hundred damage to target resonator where X is the number of X plus one. Plus. Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Again, these cards are super good. And then we got a earthly flash. See, which is first off, this card art is amazing. Arla being a boss over here. Choose one. Cancel target resonator spell with total cost three or less, or destroy target resonator with flying. Canceling a, a resonator spell? Whoa! Hello, Arlo. Rocking it with that. Jeez Louise, that's going to be super good. In a lot of different ways. And then we got uh, Give Wings. Alice is castling. Oh, my pile's falling down over here. Uh, Moan of the Dead. Priscius Pursuant. Celestial Wing Seraph. Uh, Magnus, Darkness, Stone, we got, ooh, okay, here's Sigurd, we were waiting on this guy, Sigurd the Covenant King, 2 drop 8-8 eight, eight, King Zombie, play this card only from the graveyard, so you have to get it to the graveyard first, Zombies you control gain Bane, on Enter, search your deck for a Darkness Edition with total cost 2 or less and put it into the field, then search your deck, so we have to find a way to be able to Oh, you can just play this card from your graveyard, I guess. Pay two to play it. That's interesting. Or we'll have to see how that's rude. But he that's a sweet looking card. It's a sweet looking character. Wow. And then we've got, oh, look at another super cutie. We got Laurier, the Twilight Witch. Two drop four, four. Enter, remove target resonator from the game. It gains plus X plus Y. And all abilities of the resonator removed by this card well then so it just kind of like removes it clones it gets bigger wow that's really good and these are both rares so wow okay here we go let's see what else we can get that's crazy these strangers for res art are amazing vampire staff uh, wall of ideas uh, gatekeeper black dragon fallen angelic destroyer light magic stone another zombie token that's awesome Oh, okay, here you go. Faresia, the Vicious Vampire. So another five heroes. They're the Virtuous Vampire. So two drop six six with Flying and Barrier. Discard a Wind card, target Resonator gains plus four, plus four. Discard a Darkness card, target Resonator gains minus four, minus four. Discard a Wind slash Darkness card that deals... Oh, does both. Okay. If you control a five heroes not named her, you may pay one green or one black less to play this card so we're about to see a five heroes deck coming out here with lars and everything else that's pretty sweet and then we got a blood of the mikage full art that's gorgeous full art by the way see so much more of what that looks like that's awesome parisia wow dang and then our last pack of this box here not a god pack so that's a little unfortunate but you know it doesn't always happen only one regalia I'm a little concerned about that. Um, Heavenly Garden. Uh, we got End of Friendship. Let's see here. Light Magic Stone. Life Point card. Between Passion and Calmness. So we've seen this one before. It's pretty cool. And then a Full Art Crime and Punishment to finish it out. So let's go ahead and do a quick synopsis of this box and see how we did. So for this box, um, there's really not too much to go over. We got uh, one Reflect Refrain as our ruler for this box. 
Uh, and then we got 11 super rares, eight of which were non-foil. So we got a Wings of the Archangel, only our only regalia for the box. Between Passion and Calmness, Phreesia, this adorable Mikage Rhea, uh, Awakening of the Undead Lord, the Sacred Beast Art, uh, Sacred Beast of Armala, um, the five hero, which is Artemis Bow on a Stick. We got two Artemis, <laughs> speaking of, uh, one of which was Full Art. We got the Red Passion Dragon, uh, for Full Art, and then we got a Full Art Faust, the Promising Warrior. This card, I think, is going to be nuts. Um, really, really cool overall. So yeah, that is it for that box. Um, let's uh, let's just keep so going. Digging right in here. This is our second box. Um, and let's go ahead and jump right in. Oh, we did get a second ruler, so that's nice. Obviously, right off the bat, we get to see our good boy Rezard. Looks so sick. They did a really good job with this artwork. I'm very, very impressed with it. So nice to see that we're starting with a second ruler. Uh, second box here. Let's see if we can get a god pack in this. All in all, there's been some pretty crazy cards, but unless we see something particularly new, we're probably going to go a little bit faster like we've done in the past. Already seeing a new card in the back, potentially. A grave Robber. Um, this is Excel's Reconnaissance. Um, yeah. Pretty cool stuff there. Spirit of Passion. Residence of the Black City. Lucifer. Water Magic Stone. Life Point card. Another uh faria which is awesome oh it's just a full that's that's amazing that's worth taking the time sure that's heroic epic full art love it love it we got a armala soulless soldier crime and punishment herald of the winged lord rabbit another griffin water magic stone will coin between passion and calmness and a Knight of Sigurd. So two super, uh, super rare already there. Nice little full art. Ugh. We got Give Wings, Release, Alice's Castling, Celestial Wing Seraph, Rena, um, Morning Angel, Darkness Magic Stone, Life Point Card, Will of the Wisp, and then a Last Secret Sword. Is a rare as a full art shakti looking snazzy for sure priestess armala excels investigation um, another beast token another of this five hero and then another full art winged so this is pierre pier from super there Black Wizard Stranger, Spiral, Her Journey, Lucifer, Knight of Sigurd, Morgiana. And then, whoa, ho, there we go. There's another, sorry to jump ahead, but we got our Full Art Death Scythe. It's really, really pretty. They did a really good job with that. It's a little bit more basic than what we've seen before, but it is, I still really like it a lot. Glorious Round Table, Kage, Arthur, Wingman of Armala was our other card. We got another Jabberwock here, and then a Mi Milcel the Clairvoyant Guide. So this is new. We haven't seen this one before. So four cost 10 10, human slash wizard. Pay one less to play Mage Arts, and if you don't control. If you don't control Mill Seal and your ruler is Reflect or Refrain, you can play. Okay. Oh, that's really interesting. So if you don't control her and your ruler is Reflect or Refrain, you can either make it so she costs one blue or one red. If she does, she enters the field with a guide counter on her. And if she has a guide counter on her, she cannot attack. So she's the one cost 10 10 that can't attack if you make her a one cost uh and then you can pay one blue less to play mate one colorless less to play mage arts that's really stinking good for reflect if you're trying to build it like the spell slinger way that's really awesome really cool support card cool to see new stuff we're gonna go ahead and start doing it this way because we're gonna get moving on 
Mark this magic stone. A second death site, so that's good. So we can get more than one regalia per box. So halfway to Rezard being done. And then a spiral of potential and convergence there. That's our full art. Hello, this is Jeremy Franklin. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, that I think might be me. Do you know what the delivery is? Might be a piece. Yep, that would make sense. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. What time do you, what time works best for you to be there? Sure. Sure. Yeah, I can make that work. Right, no worries. No one is no one has been exposed or quarantined. You are good to go. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Yep. Bye. So going into this pack here, we got an anthrite. Um, a lot of stuff we've already seen before. Another token, another Percival, and whoa, hello, Rhea showing up again, a part of true power. So it's a super rare full art here. It is a mage art. Two cost, remnant, as an additional cost to play this card, banish a resonator, put target darkness resonator from your graveyard into the field. I think Griffin might suddenly be really good again. Um... That seems really nuts, especially if you consider the one drop Rhea, um, that she can be put back into your hand if she's banished. So you like play her on one, play this on two by banishing her. She gets to come back to your hand, bring back the Griffin that she sent to the graveyard on her enter. So like potentially a turn two Griffin, uh, seems good. That's a little bit wonky, uh, crazy. Glad we have graveyard hate in this format. Um, Black Wizard, uh, Journey, Crime and Punishment, the Celestial Wing Seraph, and then just a Residence of the Black City there for our full art. Um, Shuren, Lucifer, another Michael, that's nice. And then, hello, Ushua coming in here, a rare full art. Flaming Samurai Swordsman. Four costs, 17, 17, enters. This card deals 1,700 damage to target Resonator. If this card deals more damage to that Resonator than it has capacity that way, deals the rest to the Resonator controller. So it's got a piercing burn effect. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Here we go. Niflheim. Crystallization. Will coin. Ooh, another Phoresia. That's awesome. And then a full art necromancy of the undead lord. Looking pretty sick. Still haven't seen a reflect regalia yet. That would be nice to be able to find. Another Griffin. Like I said, that card might be suddenly really good. See, that looks a lot better as a full art magic stone of black silence. You can see so much more of it. That's very, very pretty. Well done. Some serious stuff still to find, I think. We got Magic Stone of Hearts Core. Ooh, a full art Awakening of the Undead Lord. That looks gorgeous, full art. And then a Hearts Core is our stone here, so red blue to go with uh, Reflector Frame. Cathedral. Another zombie token, a dignified wing seraph for our full art there. 
We're already down to... Man, these boxes go by so fast. Five packs left. Artemis as another super rare. And then a full art. To see a pursuant. Nice. I will admit it's a little disappointing to pull a third stranger super rare, but it is tradable, so go ahead. A Awakening of the Winged Lord, nice, and then a full art crystallization, so that's pretty cool. Awakening of the Winged Lord, finally getting some our love. Four packs left here. Non punishment. Ooh, so, oh, okay. So the blue illusory dragon of calmness. So quick, quick cast and flying. If you have calmness, it costs two blue. And then one, if you have calmness, rest target entity and rest target entity and this card gains 400 defense until end of turn, invert your ruler. Woof, that's nuts. And then we got a full art griffin in the pack too. That's a, the, both of those dragons are nuts. Um, those reflector for putting in some work over here. Um, people worried about Prissia. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff still going on here. Um, Arthur, Dreadlord of Vengeance. Ooh, an Apollon and another Ares. So, Ap Apollon, the God of Light. If damage would be dealt to you, it's dealt to this card instead. When a Resonator is put into a graveyard from the field, remove it from the game. If you do, your life becomes four grand. So, you can just, like, soak up damage and keep responding making your life when this card is put into the graveyard from the field so if it dies it, it's to reset your life to four grand that's crazy so it could just soak up a bunch of damage and then when it dies you reset that's that's crazy that's an awesome card here we go two more packs here in this box we got a another earthly flat Irish, and then a blood of the mikage here and then our last pack. Can this last pack be a god pack? It is not. But it is something. Let's see what we got here. Give wings. End of friendship here. Another part of true power. That card is going to be nuts. And then a full art wall of ideas there to close it out. So that's it for this box. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. So on the second box here, we have a Rezard for our ruler and then we got the blue illusory dragon awakening of the winged lord another artemis between passion and calmness pierre aphrisia and then an awakening of the undead lord full art a normal and full art part of true power and then a normal and full art death scythe so that is it for this box let's go ahead and move on so here we are, the third box here, moving right along. We got, oh, a little unfortunate that we didn't hit three for three, but we do have another reflect there. Not too bad. I mean, it's a 33% chance, right? Um, so we got two out of the three, though. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Again, hoping to see if we can find a god pack in here. We're going to be moving pretty quick unless we see some new stuff here. So necromancy, twin heroes, another Pierre. That's really nice. And then a Moan of the Dead for our full art here. Give Wings. Celestial Wings here. Rena, Black Silence. And another full art here of Charlotte. That's really nice. The Priestess of the Black City. Here. Heavenly Flash, a super rare, this is new, super rare sword art. As you play this card, you may arrest any number of Recuthford Resonators you control with flying and pay one green or one less to play this card for each Resonator. So you can rest your flyers to destroy Resonators without flying. That, to me, seems really, really good. And then we got a Faresia's Journey here. And then let's see what this actually does. So... Choose one, target any number of chance spells. For each spell, this controller may pay one. If they don't, cancel it or put up to one target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck. So it's like a wall of wind, but it doesn't have to cancel or put any number of target, put up to one target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. So it's wall of wind 
or drawing cards. That's better than I gave it credit for initially when I first passed it. That card is going to be really good. <laughs> for both, for Rezard especially, being able to recycle his cards. That's crazy. Um, here we go, digging right along. Ooh! A super rare strain here we haven't seen. Frig, Goddess of uh, Abundance. If you drop 10-10, automatic abilities of Goddess Resonators you control. Trigger an additional time! Enter... Uh, G enter reveal recover a magic stone you control so she costs a two drop and all of your goddesses trigger twice including her so she's a one cost that's crazy i mean it puts two triggers but that's awesome that's really really good holy crap <laughs> there's a lot of different ways you can do that especially now that um we have access to green white for lenneth being able to play green red white maybe that's nuts. Another Michael. Hey, a change of the heart. So we got a full art of that regalia. Nice to see. Nice to see. So you'll have at least one of each of the regalias. That's really good. Quarter of the way there. Technically, we've pulled full four, so in three boxes. So yeah, we're a third of the way to having a full play set of regalia for this set. Another frig. Can't argue with that. Having the full play set of frigs right there. The soulless soldier as our full art there moving right along another Apollon another Heavenly Flash Heavenly Flash is such a beautiful looking card and being able to cancel resonator spells is nice especially with some of the things that we're dealing with in this format uh, we got a Scheherazade we got another full art last secret sword we haven't seen a normal one of that yet we've only seen that as a full art I mean, it exists, but not here. Not for us. Heavenly Garden. Uh, another Earthly Flash. Another Ares as one of our full arts. There we go. Cathedral. Not as many Adoraktis Memorias, but thankfully it's in the normal slot, so that's kind of good. Another Glor another uh, Charlotte. I think that's our fourth one, so that's awesome. And then a Give Wings. It's our full art here. Still, still haven't gotten to that uh, god pack. Hopefully, it's in there. Prissia, Magic Stone of Hearth's Core, a full art Anterite. Looking pretty there. Grave Robber. And then another Death Scythe. So, that's good. We're almost full on Rezards. We need one more Death Scythe, and then we have everything we need for Rezard. And then Rena, the girl with nothing. I'm not entirely sure what that is going to be used for, but maybe there's some application somewhere. So. We got a last. There's the last secret sword and another full art black silence. So that's nice. So we do have it. Now we've seen it in both. It's definitely a good Melgus support card. Uh, wrapping. Niflheim. And a friendship. Another Between Passion, and then a Heavenly Garden of Armala here. Six packs left. Let's go ahead and shuffle those together here and just make it one big pile. Maybe we'll get lucky and the last pack will be a God Pack. Let's see what happens. Nothing new here so far. Another, this card is, I'm excited about this card. Michelle, the Clairvoyant Child, and then a Knight of the White Hill for our full art here. Let's look at, let's look at this guy real quick since he's all full arted up. Enter, put a card from a stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. When this card is put into a graveyard, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. So one costs four, four that essentially nets you two strangers over the course of its life. That's pretty cool. Glorious round table. Another Ares and a full art of this boy, Sacred Beast of Artemis. That boy is gigantic. Four packs to go. Give wings. Celestial Wing Seraph. Another Artemis. No, we have two full play sets of Artemis. That's not, not what I like to see in three boxes for strangers, but it is what it is. 
That's the nature of TCGs, right? Still good. Oh, another Faresia. That's awesome. We have three Faresias now, almost four. Getting closer towards that. Uh, and then Refrain Summoning. So Reflect Summoning and Refrain Summoning just like reverse this card image, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty clever. Two packs left. That is not a God pack. I thought for a second it was, and I was very excited. It is not. We do see another one of these bad boys, Ushua. And then let's see. We can kind of calculate a few things based on what we've seen so far. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's at least a super rare in this last pack. It's a, it's definitely it's not a full art one, but it might be a god pack. So let's see. It is not a god pack. That's a little disappointing, but it should be a super rare here at the bottom if our ratio is correct. So, yes, there it is, an Awakening of the Winged Lord. We got an end of friendship there for our full art. So, yeah, that's it for this box. Let's go ahead and summarize it up. So in this third box, we got Reflect Refrain again, and then we got 11 supers as usual, which is four, um, eight non-foils and three foils. So that ratio still contains consistent. Awakening of the Winged Lord, Faresia, Artemis, Heavenly Flash, Pierre, Between Passion, another Death Scythe, two Frigs, a, a sacred beast of artemis and then a change the heart so yeah all in all let's go ahead um thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this opening huge opportunity and i really appreciate it but uh, like and subscribe as always and until next time this is dmo73 saying class dismissed